Did OpenAI just win the game? Yeah, their new video generation tool is insane, and it will make all of us superstar movie makers, or put the political world in a major imbalance. Imagine making the next award-winning short film without spending a fortune on equipment, cast, and crew. In fact, you don't even need to know a thing about animation, lighting, or prop design. Your next cinematic masterpiece is a text prompt away. Okay, so let's get one thing out of the way before you say, ah, uh, I've seen AI video generators before and click away. Take a look at Sora, the new tool from OpenAI, which is a bombshell. No, calling it a bombshell is an understatement. Just look at this drone footage. Now look at how detailed the ocean waves are, how solid the rock wall looks, and the contrast between wet and dry areas. That was not made by a human. That right there is Sora. The video generation tool from OpenAI is named after the Japanese word for an empty sky because, let's face it, with this new addition from OpenAI, the sky is the limit. This pocket movie studio is just starting, and it will remove all barriers and make visual storytelling possible for generations to come. All the video generation AI tools today need help maintaining visual consistency and generating believable scenes and characters. Some look like an awful acid trip because they need to get what OpenAI has. Since they started making waves in the AI sector, OpenAI has gathered vast amounts of data and information. Their wonder kid ChatGPT has served hundreds of millions of users worldwide. OpenAI has scoured every possible inch of the accessible internet, and they needed the proper access to some parts. They did anyway, but hey, it's all in the name of progress, right? To get a little technical, LLMs, or large language models like ChatGPT, use tokens to produce their output. OpenAI's other kid, Dolly, uses a diffusion model to place randomized image pixels that turn into coherent images. Sora uses visual patches and a combination of ChatGPT and Dolly Tech to create a three-dimensional output combined with a highly intelligent physics engine, produces something like this. Look at this fluffy cat. Look how all the whiskers and fur follow real-life physics while maintaining the visual style. Look how alive its eyes are, and how it's interacting with the world around it. If I showed you this without telling you about Sora, can you tell it's fake? It can generate snow being kicked up by animals, realistic-looking human models, space scenery, fluid dynamics, and all sorts of things. These are things that took Hollywood years to master and create. Remember the sheer cost, labor, and skill involved? But with the addition of Sora and a touch of imagination, just about anyone can be the next Spielberg or Joss Whedon. Better yet, stock footage sites like Envato, Shutterstock, and others will have a hard time competing with this techno superpower, or they will have to open their doors to creators who use Sora and make bank. But all that being said, this tool is still in its infancy. There are glitches. Some users have found that it generates extra objects that are not in the text prompt. It will also make errors when it comes to displaying the physics of complex scenes. What critics praise about Sora is its ability to create realistic looking videos that are indistinguishable from the untrained eye, which is very concerning because in the wrong hands, this can be a weapon. We live in times where the wrong information at the wrong time on the wrong group can start a wildfire. For example, this year, a crucial year for electronics, dozens of countries will have important power shift events that will tip the scales for the next decade or more. Adding a hyper-realistic video generation tool can be a real threat to these delicate situations. As we talk about these new leaps and bounds in tech, we face two major wars between powerful countries. The last thing we need is misinformation that can hinder peace attempts and hide or exaggerate the state of these wars. Professor Hani Farid at Berkeley said, this technology, if combined with AI-powered voice cloning, could open up an entirely new front when it comes to creating deep fakes of people saying and doing things they never did. And he is right. While OpenAI has said that they will create systems to discern videos that were created by Sora, how long before someone finds a loophole or reverse engineers what Sora is doing? For now, the glitches in Sora's videos will help us distinguish them from real videos. However, as we have seen, it will take a little time for OpenAI to improve its products. Just look at the massive difference between ChatGPT3 and 4. It's only getting better. Imagine what this will become. While this is still a massive show of force by Sam Altman and his team of wizards, OpenAI is highly keen on making this a public tool. They have vowed that there will be measures to prevent people from mimicking celebrities and politicians. But people are very creative, 
and they've always trumped systems to get what they want. And that's what this could be, a tool for creatives without all the money in the world, not a weapon to control the masses. It should be for the budding director or scriptwriter to bring their vision to reality and share stories with the world. What do you think? Will this upset the balance of the world stage or will it be a wonder tool for everyone with a profound imagination? Let us know your thoughts. Like this video if you learned something and subscribe for more AI news. See you in the next one.